my channel my name is the good now i'm the cool the cool it's me it's me it's me it's me um happy sundays everyone if you guys are watching this on sunday happy sunday um yes i woke up today i decided to rock a new hairstyle i don't know if it's working child but i decided today i need to wake up i need to film this video and really spill the tea on Ray's life. I think it's so important. <laughs> it's so important to let you guys know what you guys are up for. Um, to prepare you guys if you're going into Ray's next year or I don't know, in a couple years time. Just to let you guys know that it's something that you need to prepare for. Like student living um, or student Ray's living. Um, to be more specific is not for the week so i wanted to just spill the tea on that today and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video so let us not wait and let's just get right into the video okay so before i start this video i just want to put a disclaimer that um this video is very opinionated it's based on my experiences over the last six months my experience over the last six months um being at res and yeah i am aware that our experiences if you're watching this and you live at res our experiences may differ i understand that and you know what if you are loving res i support you like genuinely i love that for you however um yeah it's just different experiences i guess um but I'm going to make this video as constructive as I can. Um, that is why I've brought out <laughs> my, my list um, of pros and cons. So yeah, I think that's the best way to go about this video. Um, I don't like Gliga. I don't like Gliga Rez Gakuri. Um, but I'm going to Gliga Lengani. So I live at a UCT um, girls catering first year res um i think that's the full name but essentially i'm at a uct res and it's an all girls catering res um and i think the first pro um which is the reason why i would maybe not highly recommend but why i would recommend going to res as a first year student would be to um to make friends i know it's a silly reason however guys to be honest making friends in university is really challenging it's it's quite hard um in my opinion it's quite hard it's not the same um like how you would make friends in high school i feel as though it was easier in high school to make um you know to form connections and i don't know it's just I feel as though even in classes like in high school high school classes um there was a sense of we're doing this together you know there was like the sense of okay it's a classroom effort to achieve whatever goal that you guys wanted to achieve however in university you are on your own everyone i just feel as though everyone is on their own path it's I don't know it's not that classroom environment that um i guess creates friendships and connections it's really hard and also there's just so many people like it's hard like once the lecture is finished everyone just wants to go their own ways um so yes i think university is just hard to make friends so being at res um i've formed quite a sisterhood with the people that i've met um so i just definitely re would recommend for a first year to yeah just stay at res find people that i think being at res and being a first year student you are all experiencing a similar um similar experiences i guess because you know you guys are all far away from home um and you're first year students everything is new so we get to experience everything together so that's just the exciting part of just being at res okay so my next um pro 
um, would be transportation. And I'm specifically referring to um, the Jammy, the UCT Jammy shuttles. I just think um, they prioritize like UCT res students the most. Um, <laughs> I think that's what we are, res students. Um, I I just feel as though in terms of the bus stops, it's just it's easy. Like I never have to think twice about. Ooh, how am I gonna get to school? Because I just know the jammy is right there. Like it's like a couple of steps um, from where I'm living. So it's I don't know the the, the access to jammies are quite good. I just I'll give you an example. I feel as though some private uh, some people who are living at like private accommodations. I feel like maybe they would have to walk a little bit more to like the the bus stops um so if you're not a fan of walking come to res i guess the third pro which i think is quite obvious um being at a catering res obviously you don't have to cook um so there's that luxury of not stressing about what you're gonna eat <laughs> after a long day of school work um, I think that is a great pro because, you know, you have time for your studies, um, so there is a sense of um, convenience. However, with the food, it's a pro and a con. I, I'm about to, okay, I, I'm, I'm done with the pros, like that's all I got. <laughs> I just had three pros because, I don't know, I tried my best to make this video as fair as possible but it's time it's time for for me to share the cons of um res living um so the food the food i would say okay let me just speak up about what they offer so they offer options such as halal um vegetarian yeah and then just like the non-vegetarian option and then you get like different meal plans i think that's a great that's a pro right there i think that's a pro i mean it's good to have different options for different people so um with the meal plans um they're different so if you feel as though you are a person who doesn't like to eat in the mornings you can have like an often you can have lunch and you can have dinner um and then if you feel like you know just it depends how you feel so you can choose your meal plan however the food <sighs> guys it's just it's <sighs> i can't even it's just it's it's either a hit or a miss that's what i can say i just feel like you never know um <sighs> i don't know it's just it's not consistent in terms of like okay let's say on monday we can have a good we can, get, we can have a good meal but then tomorrow it might not be a good meal um however i will be in the future um next semester i will be filming a maybe like a week a week like what do i eat at res for a week just to show you guys um just to show you guys how how we eat but i know fr like from my friends like who are who have chosen the vegetarian option they are not having a good time like they're always complaining about their food um and yeah it's just i don't know it could be better that's all i'm saying it could be better um the third no the second the second con would be um you cannot choose your own res um as you guys know i didn't apply in time for res so i just thought maybe i didn't have um the luxury of choosing the res that i wanted to stay at however i found out that actually no one gets to choose no one gets to choose which res um you want to stay at they allocate one for you um i just don't like it i really don't because i feel as though i would have chosen a different res you know um yeah, because I would I would tell you guys which res I'm staying at, but 
honestly it wouldn't make a difference because they um they pick one for you so i think that must change because i would have i would have chosen a different raise honestly but say nani we have to move on so the third the third con would be um first years no 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 roommate first years that's what i wrote but essentially what i'm saying is you as a first year you are um allocated a roommate you have to share um as a first year i know there might be first years who don't share I want to be like you like honestly i don't know how you did it tell me um but i know that majority of the first years do share um so they have a roommate i think for me i've been so blessed to have such an awesome roommates because mm, the stories that i hear about other roommates um was just it was hectic um but i think a pro in this case would be when the when they were allocating the roommates and there was like i guess a trial like a trial run um <laughs> trial run but people could um request for like a different roommate um so i think that's a pro they understood that i guess not everyone um would gel well together so you have that option of choosing a different roommate of moving out so i think that's cool so the next con is something that i was actually really really upset about and i just i did not know um so it's packing up for um a media vacation so for the june vacation we had to pack up all of our things like i was I was like i thought it was a joke at first when i found out in april or was it may i'm not too sure when they sent us emails that okay you actually need to pack up all your things um before you leave for vacation i don't know i just i was very shocked my mom was also shocked she was like how what's happening like why do you have to do all of that um why do we have to do that like admin honestly it was just too much for me i might be exaggerating but genuinely why 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 that's how i felt like why but um it's fine um i want to include some videos at this point just to show you guys what i mean by packing up for medium i have finished packing as you guys can see these are my boxes i have to cover that up but these are the boxes they're not very aesthetic right now <laughs> they look a little bit rough but they'll do um yes so these will go into the storage rooms i'll explain in great detail in an upcoming video about why do we have to like pack um our clothes like the not clothes but like our stuff and put it into storage rooms in the middle of the year yeah i explain all the details later but <sighs> this is what's happening i'm so tired um but these are the this is the luggage that i'm taking on the plane so yes we had to do that um however there were like um storage rooms where you could um store five boxes yeah there were, there were also rules to that um what you could store and what you couldn't store so yeah uh, i'll leave it at that but i just again i feel as though why why do you have to do that but i guess that's being a resolute for you um and then the next con would be the shower situations um yeah <laughs> the shower. like i just i don't know okay one just know if you want to be a resolite um <laughs> if you want to be a resolite just know that you have to bring all pack like you have to have shower shoes um because you just have to sharing um a shower with i i guess like 15 girls in your corridor you need shower shoes like 
to protect yourself um however specifically with our sh like um shower situation um there's only one shower and then there's two bathtubs personally you'll never see me in those bathtubs um but i guess people can um if you want to you can but whoever if they do they do <laughs> that's what i'm gonna say but um there's only one shower i feel as though majority of us use the shower um and i guess it's just it's not it's not the best situation because sometimes the the train is clogged sometimes some things break like it's just it's it's a lot it's a lot honestly um and we have sometimes we have meetings about like how clean our shower should be we have those like meetings or even on, on like the group chats um you know you get some people saying what's happening with the shower please don't do this in the shower like guys come on like clean up like it's things that are so you would expect for people to know or people to do but then they don't like it's even the bathroom situations i can i can go into that but i don't want to because it's just it's too much okay so my last con i don't think it's that hectic i just feel like it's quite light i left the more light one towards the end um and that would be laundry so in my opinion and in my experience with the laundry situation it's not been a good one um or i just don't agree <laughs> i understand it but i just don't like it that's what i can say um so yes so with laundry you have to book your slot um it's like a three hour slot for um you have three hours to do your laundry and then after this three hours you have to return the key um like the laundry key to the receptionist the people at the reception um yeah the people at the reception you have to give the, the key back so and if you don't i've heard that there's like some consequences um there may or may not be some consequences um for you not bringing the the key um on time i haven't experienced that so yay for me but um i just don't agree i think there's just one experience where my clothes didn't dry it just they didn't dry and i had begged for like an hour i was like i went down i was like listen like they are all wet like the dryer i don't know the dryer was was fighting me that day and my clothes didn't dry and i just i begged for an hour and she was just like sorry you know i can't like it's not allowed so i understand though i understand there's so many girls like you know you have to be fair um but i think that if you are a person who is mm, what can i say are a person who is not a fan of rules or who who a person who doesn't respond well to rules i don't think maybe res is for you i don't know if you're open to changing then i'm sure you you can go to res but i just feel like there are rules to um to living in in like a student res um there's not um great freedom to do whatever you'd like to do um, which I understand. I mean, you know, there needs to be rules put in place for the safety of all the other girls or the, all the other people who are living at the same place that you are living at. So I understand that. But if you're a person who, you know, it's not your thing, um, then res wouldn't be for you. Then that would be a con for you. So, no. <laughs> and sadly, we reached the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope it didn't sound like i was hating because i'm not a hater i am a lover um yeah i just wanted to share with you guys how i feel um share my experiences with you guys um so you guys can get an understanding you know um so yes um but i hope it doesn't discourage anyone from going to res um because again, I, I recommend it for a first year students. Yeah, go ahead. Um, 
but yeah if you guys have any because i like these insolvers i love them i love hearing other people other people's like experiences um if you guys have any interesting rare stories or i don't know your experiences just comment down below if you'd like to of course um yeah comment down below anything that you'd like to say make sure to like this video make sure to subscribe if you're new to this channel because there are more videos coming up very very soon um more university content you know so thank you for watching and i'll see you guys later <laughs> Never be. Where's my stars? 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 Where's my st